Oh, I think it's, uh, you know, I mean, it is the spiritual home of Queensland rugby. You know, guys, we train here every day, you know, train on this field, and this is, you know, the guys understand the history that's involved with this place and, and what's been before. So I think, uh, you know, hopefully it does give us a little extra lift, but we're excited that, you know, not many guys have got the opportunity to play here, and I, don't, I think only Holmesy uh, and a couple others have been actually able to play for Queensland on, on this field. Yeah, it is, you know, it's, uh, it is a very special place. A lot, of, a lot of history, obviously, with Queensland rugby and the fact that we get to play a, any game of any type, you know, representing Queensland here. Uh, I know the boys are, are really looking forward to that chance. So hopefully we, uh, we, get, a, we get a big turnout tomorrow night and, uh, you know, hopefully we put in a, a performance worthy of, of, of playing here at Ballymore. Oh, I think it's important that we, get, we continue building on where we've been. You know, we set uh, a good place that we started from last weekend you know we we did some good things but there was stuff that we needed to work on so I think it's important for us that we just keep building on on where we're at um, you know trials and, and pre-season matches are all about you know all about what we have to do we haven't really spent much time worrying about you know what the Rebels are doing it's all about us and, and that's what we're focused on and you know come you know we're, we're going out to win there's no doubt about that but we need to make sure we go about it the right way as well. I think that the Rebels, you know, under under Dumper have probably, you know, worked very hard on their defence and their breakdown and that's a, obviously a strength of the, the Brumbies game has been their, their breakdown over the last couple of years. Um, so, I, you know, I think that we're expecting a, a probably a, a fiercer battle at the breakdown than what we, we got against the Chiefs. Uh, you know, I think the, the Rebels will probably commit more men there than, than the Chiefs did. So that's something we've, we've understood and spoken about this week uh, in preparing for this game and, you know, that could transfer over, obviously, it's going to be very important for us next week when we play the Brumbies in round one. Look, the guys, uh, you know, it's, it's good that we've got so much depth in, you know, outside backs, you know, and, and the big thing for us is, as you said, trying to keep them on the paddock. They've had uh, a number of them have had off-season surgeries and, and had issues in the past, so hopefully they're all behind them. And, you know, they're all such talented footballers that when they do get open space, we saw on the weekend, you know, a guy like Aiden who hasn't played a lot of footy in the last couple of seasons due to injury when he does get a, a good bit, amount of training under him and can play, you know, he, he can do anything. So it's uh, it's exciting to see what what could be uh, if those guys stay fit. Yeah, well, it's a good it's a good place to start from, you know, the Rebels a team trying to trying to with a point to prove under a new coach. They've got a lot of new players, they've had a, a bit of a turnover of of playing stock. So they they're out here and they've won two from two in their trials and they you know, they're speaking about you know, they're winning these trial games because it's important for them to get that confidence. You know, they, they've got to buy first round. I know speaking to Higgins, so they're, they're taking this. This is their last hit out before, you know, they get a bit of a break. So they, they want to take confidence into the season.